Welcome back, guys. So you liked the first episode, you're back for more. Well, that's good news. Right, in the first episode, we started making some decent money and we got our first fame point as well as a, uh, a tactic, a tactic for, for us to use in our battles. So, uh, so what do we do next? Well, the next thing we do is keep expanding our, our trading. That's what's important. So I'm gonna go down to Port Royal and I'm gonna go down to the shipyard and I'm gonna buy another vessel. We can get slurps, breeze. we can actually get a bark. Oh, ho, ho, ho. slightly larger, 250 capacity and 12 knots. So barks is definitely the way to go. So a little bit expensive for us at the moment, but I think it's worth doing. So I am going to purchase that bark. I'm gonna head into the lighthouse. Nina, now that's Spanish, we don't want that. Uh, what are we gonna have? How about lightning? Are you, are you getting the, the theme here? Um, so, the lightning convoy. Uh, well, you are going to be uh, assigned to the domestic trade route. And boom, there we go. And off goes the lightning at lightning speed. See what I did there? Now, Port Royal's got actually got a task for us. Let's pause for a second. Uh, you're quite well known in the town. You were able to acquire a building permission to construct businesses for 25,000. Ooh, interesting. Huh. I don't think we're going to do that at the moment, but we might do that subsequently. Let's say grain, sugar, cotton, beer, ceramics, pastries. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Okay, so we've um, got another ship on our trade route, which is awesome. Now, I just want to have a look and see how I um, set this up. So we, we go from Santiago to Port Royal, and then we go back to Santiago, don't we? Oh, we've got a new task from the Viceroy. You have arrived at the right moment. Uh, as you may have noticed, we have, we have plenty of beer. However, in towns of Spain, there is a shortage. You would very much help out our economy if you would sell 233 to our friends by June the 11th. Now, at the moment, we don't know about Spain. We don't know any Spanish ports. We, uh, the only thing we know about is a, well, hello, is a couple of French ports up here. So we're gonna have to do some exploring. And that requires that we go manual. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait until we get uh, a little bit more money. Then I'm gonna buy a new ship. We're gonna go exploring. Oh yeah. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. They've taken that task off. Oh, no, they have, no, 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 they haven't, no, they haven't. It was a Viceroy task. I, I was worried then. Oh, we've gained another fame point. Oh, that is sweet. Already, man, we are, look at this, we're plowing through the goods. We're, we're starting well. Now, concessions. I have, the first point I'm going to spend, I think, is going to go into a captain's license. And then the second thing I'm going to do is maybe unlock one of these but for for now i just want to unlock a captain because what happens is if you've um, if you've got captain's licenses available then captains will start applying to you but we don't have any captains applying at the moment oh and <laughs> that didn't take long we have a captain available let's have a look you oh i tell you what he's a he's a noob he's a level zero um they he but he can progress to level 12 which is quite high which means that he could get skills, like he would only be missing one skill of all his possibles. So he gets um, Eagle Eye, uh, increased sight radius during patrols, supervision, repairs are faster, Carpenter, after naval battles, the convoy damage is repaired, and Embarker, the capacity of the convoy is increased. Whilst he's kind of uh, like maybe maybe okay-ish I think we're gonna reject him and uh, wait for someone better am I gonna reject him I, I could keep him hanging around for a bit go on I'll leave him hanging around for a bit actually so we're gonna go down to Port Royal we are going to buy ourselves what we're going to buy. Oh, if I go to the shipyard that'd be better we're gonna buy ourselves another bark 
assuming there is one for sale. Oh, there's only a brig and a sloop. Wow. That's a blooming shame. Now, I could take a brig, it's a, but it's a little bit slower. Now, where's the lightning? Aptly named, because it's, uh, it's nice and quick. There's the lightning. It's going up there. I might, I might commandeer the lightning. Yeah, I might commandeer the lightning. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy, a, am I going to buy a brig? Yeah, I'm going to buy a brig. Um, it's got decent capacity. It's only 12 knots, uh, 11 knots rather than 12 though. So we'll, uh, we'll purchase that. We'll go and pop it to the lighthouse. We'll sign it. Harbour seal. No, I don't think so. What's this one going to be? This one's going to be the... Uh, I don't know. Well, what, what on earth can we be? This can be... What else is in the sky? This can be the sun. In fact, it could be the sunbeam. How about that? There we go. It's very pretty. I was a poet and I didn't even know it. Right. Uh, what are we going to do with you? Now we've got you. We've got the blue skies. Now we've got the sunbeam. Now, I could... Now what's this? Oh, that's the cloud over there. Okay. Um, the sunbeam. I'm kind of almost tempted because no, I was going to swap out the, for the lightning. I was going to take the lightning off the route and put the sunbeam on. But you know, if, if, just for the extra speed. But I think we'll just we'll just go with the sunbeam. It'll be fine. So we're trying to fulfil this task. Uh, we need to buy beer and sell it to Spain. All right. Well, let's do it now. Um, we make beer in Port Royal. How much did I need? 233. Let's see what we can do. So it's Sunbeam. I want you to go into Port Royal and buy. Okay, they've got 105 there. Now, as the price goes up, uh, sorry, as, the, as we buy up all the beer, the price goes up quite a lot. But I'm more interested in completing the task than I am in the price that we're paying for the beer. So I'm going to take it up. Let's see what it's. It, it doesn't go up too badly. I'm going to buy it all, because why wouldn't I, frankly? Now where else can we get beer nearby? Um, Puerto Padre's got beer. Uh, Evangelista's got beer. Puerto Padre really is the only place that's uh, that's got beer. Hmm. Okay, well, in that case, Sunbeam, we are going to take you up to Puerto Padre. So, head to Puerto Padre, please. Off it goes. Trudging along at a mere 11 knots. Unlike the lightning, which is flying off the screen at 12 knots. <laughs> All right, so we get up to Puerto Padre. Now, you, you can actually look. Let me pause again for a second. Like, you can look at any port. You don't have to be there in order to have a look at the trade screen. Right? So I can go in here and I can look and see, like, how much beer have they got available. So let's pop into Puerto Padre and we'll take a look. And they've got loads of beer. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, I don't think I'm quite there yet. Let's... There we go. Now I can get in here and I can buy up loads of beer. So I think we just want to like stock up completely. And the nice thing is we can buy it all at a decent price. Excellent. That is really good news. So now we're going to go. Um, all of this is Spanish owned. Now we know that because we saw the distribution at the beginning. So I'm going to go for a bit of a sale, I think. Um, now, do I go up as far as there and sail down? And I think I do. I think I do. So, that's Puerto Padre. I want the Sunbeam. Here we go. So, Sunbeam, you're going to sail up to there. Away you go. It's going to take 2.1 days to sail up there. Then we're going to sail you across here. Now, I'm going to slow the game down slightly while I'm exploring. So, that I've got a little bit more control about what's going on. And as soon as we get enough cash, like... Yeah, sort of around 100,000. Um, I'm going to start uh, um, 
uh, looking to buy another ship. So we are, uh, we've got Seville over here. So let's go into Seville. We've discovered Seville. Head into port, Sunbeam. Okay, so Seville. First thing we can do is take a look at the beer situation. Now, I could just sell it all and that would satisfy the task, but I want to try and make some cash at the same time. So let's see, I can sell some. In fact, I can sell quite a lot. In fact, I can sell all of it. Um, and I didn't make a horrendous loss. So you know what, I'm just gonna do it, I think. Well, actually, am I gonna sell all of it? I can buy it back at the same price. Am I gonna sell all of it? I might hang on to, let's see. Let's take a look at the Viceroy. Thank you for removing our oversupply of beer. And that will uh, have improved our fame situation, which is awesome source. So now we can just get on about actually trading. So I'm going to buy some of that beer and we'll see if we can make a profit on it. Uh, I, okay, let me explain. If, like, if you're doing this manually and you want to make money, the best thing to do is go down to the bottom of the list to the quality goods because these are much higher value. So you'd make a lot more money trading these than you will trading like these basic goods. So let's start down here. They manufacture furniture. Uh, we're not going to be able to buy much. I, yeah, see the price. The price really starts to leap up. But we can get a few. Nineteen. That'll do. What else can we get? Uh, cotton. Uh, we can buy. We can buy quite a lot of cotton without the price going up. 101, that'll do. And then, oh, some rope. Oh, can't buy too much rope though. We'll take, yeah, we'll take eight. And then we'll fill up on beer, I guess. Boom, there we go. So our hold is full. Come on, Sunbeam. Let's go for a, a Sunday afternoon stroll and do some exploring. Let's head to Valladolid, we've now dis uh, discovered. That's cash situation. We're around 70,000. I want to get enough so that we can buy a bark and uh, and have enough money to actually buy cargo. So we want around 100,000 would be nice. So Valadolid, you know, what can we do here? Let's go down to the bottom first and we'll start selling things. So how much of this can we sell before the price goes down? Mm, not much, but we make a very nice profit on that. So we'll sell those and then We'll try and sell some of this. Ah, the price goes down quite quickly, so. We'll sell a, a little bit of cotton. And, oh, now rope, we should be able to unload all of this. Yes, good. And the other thing was the beer, wasn't it now? How much beer, oh, it's gonna drop. Now, you can, as long as you're making a profit, you can sell, like, more than I'm selling. But I wanna keep my profits nice and high. So as soon as the pro price starts dropping, I'm going to back off. There we go. So I've sold some stuff. I can now buy some stuff to uh, to fill up the hold. They haven't got any luxury goods. Um, aha, some coffee might be nice. Ah, the price is going to go up quite quickly. In fact, very quickly. So no, not coffee. Coal. Coal could be good. Oh yes, we can top it with coal. That'll do nicely. Let's carry on down the coast. And I think I might speed things up a little bit again now. Now that you've seen the, the basic idea. Any places for us to discover? Oh, Teela. Head into Teela. All right. What could we do in Teela? Right, again, straight down to the bottom. Do the good stuff first. So, can we sell the furniture? Oh, we can, and look at that, 613. Woohoo, nice. And we can sell, oh, a decent amount. Let's take that to like 180. Boom. Look at this. This is bringing some money in. Um, so that was the ceramics. Um, well, we might be able to sell a little bit of cotton. In fact, I'm going to sell all the cotton and the coal. Oh, no, 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 not so much coal. Where were we? So, no, it's not worth selling it. The price isn't good enough. Yeah. Oh, we might be able to sell a little bit of beer. Let's see if we can. 
Level 71. That'll do. Okay, that's made us a bit of room, because I want to buy some of the stuff that they have got. Now, they haven't got any luxury goods, but they've got coffee, they've got tobacco, they've got cloth. All reasonable, well, but the problem is that, yes, they've got a, a, a level so it's not really rare, so the price is reasonable. The problem is, physically, they haven't actually got that much of it. So I'm probably only going to be able to buy a very little bit of this, yeah, before the price starts going up. But we'll take some cloth, we'll take some tobacco, and we'll take some coffee. As much as we can get before the price starts going up. And then we'll top up. Now meat, I find meat sells really well. Uh, but again, we can't get too much of it. And, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So we're going to be sailing like almost half empty, which is not so good. But at this point, I want to bring up why I created um, this route up here, sailing to all of these ports. And it's because I want to encourage growth in, uh, in my own nation. Uh, now, why do I want to do that? Well, the more, you, um, the more you trade, the happier people are going to get. And the happier you get, the more the town's going to grow. Not as much as when we start building businesses, but it helps. So why do I want to increase growth? Other than the, the, the kind of the obvious reason that it's always better to be bigger. Um, it's because the bigger a town is, the more they will consume, uh, the more potentially they're going to produce. So they make better trading partners. So that's why I'm doing that. Right, let's get on with this because we've got a long way to go. Because we're going to go all the way down here. And then round here and all the way down here. So we've got, yeah, a long way to go. Okay, we've only got one captain. I, seriously, I don't, think, I don't think we could use this guy for a very long time. I'm going to reject him. Now, you can have multiple captains applying, but if you've got captains which you're obviously not going to use, then it's best to just get rid of them. Okay, Portobello. Portobello. What can we do with you? Now, we've got enough cash to get another ship going, so I don't want to neglect this. Let's uh, go into the shipyard, and let's get another ship going. What have we got? Schooners. Oh, a flute. 100,000. It's slow, but it's got huge cargo space. Um, but it's not really what I want right now. Um, well, a skinner, a skinner and a float is all we've got at the moment, which is a shame. What I really want is a bark. The, uh, the capacity on the flute is good. I mean, it really is good. It's double the capacity of a bark, but it's traveling so much slower. But it is, it is one of the two vessels that's unique to, uh, to the Dutch. So the, the problem with it is, right? So you've got 500 capacity traveling at 10 speed for 100,000. Um, if we go back to, say, the schooner, well, this is 200 capacity at 10 knots for 25,000. So I could buy four of these. So I could actually have 800 capacity traveling at 10 knots if I went for schooners. Now, the, obviously, there are other factors. Um, the the flute has, uh, has rides lower in the water. So it's actually going to be slower going around the coastline. So that's another negative. Um... But it has advantages in combat because it's got a, a higher deck. And it's got 80 crew compared to the skin that's only got 40 crew. But there again, you've got four ships with 40 crew potentially. So, yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait until we get a better, uh, a better ship offered to us. So, what was I doing? Over here. Right, let's uh, get rid of some of this again. So, ooh, what can we sell here? All of it. No way. 
All right, cool. And we can buy some luxury items. Nice. We can get rid of, well, let's see, a fair amount of this. 27. And, nah, uh, that's not really worth doing, but. Nah, it's not worth it. Not at that price. What else have we got that we can sell? Aha, the rum. Oh, we can sell all the rum. Beautiful. Cylon. Oh. Nickercle. That'll do. So as you can see, when you're doing it manually, um, it takes it takes a fair amount of effort. Uh, it certainly takes a fair amount of time. Uh, we can we can sell one of those. Um, but the profits that you make are very good while you're doing it. So it's kind of worth spending a little time on this. Um, no, it's not worth saying. Uh, oh, oh, where am I going? <laughs> uh, rope. Oh, no. Let's sell a couple of rope. Now the hemp we can get rid of. Cool. And the bricks. Oh, we can get rid of a fair few. And what else? Uh, we can get rid of all the corn. Look at that, we double our money on the corn. Boom, nice. That's what you're looking for. Pretty much uh, try to double your money. Again, we go down to the bottom and see the most expensive goods we can pull in. So we can get some metal goods. Well, I'm going to take as much of that as I can get at a decent price. And I think I'm probably going to get some more coffee. And that'll fill us up. Awesome. So... We have already discovered quite a few Spanish towns. Go, Sunbeam. Ceylon. Oh, Cartagena. Cartagena. Or, I, I mean, surely it's pronounced. In the game, it's pronounced Cartagena. Uh, Cartagena. But, really, it's Cartagena, isn't it? I would have thought. I guess it depends where you're from, how you pronounce it. Right, Cartagena. I'm going to say Cartagena, because... I've always, that's how I've always pronounced it. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to go down here. We're going to try and sell some luxury items. A few of those. Yeah. Oh, a little, we can sell a little bit of this. It, it is trading lots of things in small amounts at the beginning of the game, where that's how you're going to make the money. And having the patience to do this kind of thing is uh is really gonna pay off okay you can't sell any of that I, it's two bars um can't get anything get rid of these bricks not so good um okay that's a, that's pretty much all we can do has only got anything good that we can buy we could buy some pastries oh not so many though 320. Alright, we'll buy 10 pastries and then we'll top up with, I think, a bit of tobacco. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, let's continue up the coast. Oops. Continue up the coast. We are, um, I would say, probably about. Oh, about. Three quarters of the way through our journey. Oh, uh, let's pop into Rio Hacha. And do a little bit of trading. But we're almost done. So. Oh, they'll take all the luxuries. Woohoo, 17,000. Nice. Now, 17,000 isn't the profit, 17,000 is the sale price. But since we were making, I don't know, close to double the price. Um, we probably made something like seven or eight, seven or eight thousand on that, I would think. All right, we've got a whole bunch of pastry. Well, not a whole bunch, but we've got a few pastries. Uh, I'll sell a couple. And sell some metal goods. A little bit of coffee? Yeah, not really. Nah, not really worth selling there. Uh, tobacco? No. Rope? 
Ooh, a little bit of rope. There we go. And bricks. Can I finally unload the bricks? Well, not all of them, but most of them. At a fairly decent price. It's the percentage markup that's kind of important when you're, when you're assessing the buying and selling. But you can see how uh, the same kind of percentages on much more expensive goods brings in so much more cash. Right, what can we do? We can buy maybe a bit of furniture. Uh, that's reasonable. And we can buy some clothing. Uh, not so much, but a little bit. It's all the little bits and pieces that add up. We can get some cloth. Oh, we can get a fair amount of cloth. Let's bring some cloth in. And maybe some hemp. Ooh. That'll do. What can we top off with? A little bit of wood. Oh, no, apparently. What about grain? What, see, they got like 156. Um, so, no, that's not going to be... You've got to look at the consumption. 156 at 8 a day uh, is going to last them, like, what, 20 days, close to. Uh, with, the, with the grain, that's not even going to last them 10 days. Right, so if I if I try to buy this, the price is going to go up. I think probably, pretty much yeah, pretty much straight away, and quite steeply. I mean, we could get a little bit, but I don't think it's worth it. So I think we're going to be riding a little bit empty. I could, I mean, I could buy a little bit more of this if I was willing to spend a bit more, but I'm not. So let's get a move on. Any more towns around here? No. Now, the place that I'm heading for is the Spanish capital. And the reason that I want to discover the Spanish capital is because it'll give us... Uh, oh, we've got another captain available. It'll give us another place where we can buy ships, potentially. And while I think about buying ships, let's go back up to Port Royal and see what they've got for sale in the shipyard. Okay, schooner, flute. Oh, just the schooner and the flute. No new ships for sale. Now, I could commission a ship, but it's going to take like 40 days or so to uh, to build the ship at least. So, here is Maracaibo, and this is where the, uh, the Viceroy of the Spanish resides. And they've got a big shipyard. All right, let's have a trot into here. Let's see what we can do cargo-wise. Um... We might be able to unload. Yeah, not really. I thought we'd be able to unload some of that. Uh, some pastries. Oh, yes, we can sell the pastries. We can sell the clothes. Um, metal wares, not really. Price goes down straight away. We'll sell a couple. Uh, what about the coffee? Oh, yes, we can sell the coffee. Cloth. Uh, cloth, there's no point selling because it's... Uh, the price is low anyway because they're filled up. Oh, uh, what else? Can we, oh, the tobacco. Oh, we can just the tobacco. Good. And get rid of the rope. Yep. And the hemp. Yes. Okay, this has been successful. And the last of the bricks at a decent price. Look at that. Double. Woohoo. Uh, bum, 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 bum. What else? Are we, we haven't got anything else. Okay, so now... It's about loading up. So we could potentially take a little bit more cloth. In fact, we can almost fill up on the cloth. We'll take the cloth. And I think we'll probably take... What have we got left? 229. Let's fill it with some rum. I, to be honest, I've probably bought too much cloth. I, I could... I could sell this back. Uh, and take a little bit more of something else. I might do that, you know. I'm going to drop it down so that we're only carrying 100, and then I'm going to buy... Um, let's see. Uh, price starts to go up on the run. So, maybe some metal. Oh, see, the price is going up on the metal straight away as well. I thought we might be able to pick up some of that. Um... Now, just, there's just so little of it that it's not worth it. 
Well, I guess in that case, no, we will we will get the cloth after all, because at least we'd be running full. Now, I happen to know, because I've played the game before, and, and you'll you'll realise this that once you've played the game for a bit, you get to know where the ports are. We'll go down to Gibraltar and sell the furniture. Oh, all of it, nice. That was a good sale. And then let's take it at twenty-five. Now, how much of the cloth can we unload? Answer, not all that much. But a little bit, and that's okay. Uh, not much of the rum. Uh, but that's all we've got. So now, what can we top up with? Some clothes would be good. Ooh, we can get a fair amount. 31, that'll do. And then some coal, I think. Yeah, let's top up with coal. Right. This is pretty much as far as I want to go in this direction. So we are going to head back up uh, to Port Royal. And we've gained another fame point. We've got two fame points to spend, which is nice. Let's look at this captain. So we've got uh, Crystal, Crystal de Jaeger. She is currently uh, a one star, so she's got one point allocated. She can only go up to a maximum nine. This is why the last guy was good, because he could, um, with experience, go up to 12. Um... Eagle Eye, Supervision, Navigator and Smuggler. I'm not particularly impressed with Crystal, so I'm going to regret, reject Crystal out of hand. Um, you know what? I'm going to go up to this end of the island. Now, I'm not sure where the ports are. I'm sure there's a port on this island, so we'll go over here and try and discover it. No? The other side? Ah, San Juan. I'm not going to bother calling in there. I want to get back. So I have Domingo. news for you. War with England. Aha! You know what? It's a good job that I got out of there because we've just gone to war with England. And you can see now the uh, the names are in red. And they're, they're in red down here showing that we're at war with them. Now, if we sail around in their waters, um, we're going to get um, we're going to get attacked. And we have got no defences. We are pure merchantmen. We've got no, uh, we've got no combat vessels, but we can still trade with them if we want, because we're playing as the merchant. If we're playing any other character, we couldn't trade with them at all. We can if we wanted to, but right now, it's like with the number of ships we've got and the trade routes we've got available, uh, we're better off just uh, carrying on with this now. Spain, on the other hand, we do want to trade with, and we are going to set up. This was really worthwhile doing because we can set up one of the best trade routes in the game. Oh yeah, and we're going to do it now. So, trade routes. We want a new route. Edit the route. Now, have a look at this. As you can see, we have got a weather pattern here, which is circular. Now, there are two of these on the map. There's this one here, and there's one up in the Gulf, right, where the winds circulate around the coast and come back down. All right, storms in the centre, but it means that if you sail in the right direction around here, you can be sailing fast all the time, and that leads to profits. So, how are we going to set this route up? Well, we are going to sail from. We're going to sail from our home port. So we're starting San Di uh, Santiago. We go to Port Royal. From, from Port Royal, we're going to go up to... Now, I want to stay out of this dead zone anyway. So I'm going to go up to Trinidad. But I think I'm going to skip Evangelista and go around to Seville. Now, this is taking me this way. Um, the duration is 14.7 now if I move this round there you can see that the duration is now shorter so it's quicker to sail through there even though it's um, near the coast um, because we're not going through this uh, through this dead dead area but again you need to look at both of these numbers because it depends on the draft how how low your ship sit in the in the water so if I if I pull this over here so this is 14.7 if you're sitting high in the water, 15.8 if you're low. This is 15.5. So if you're 
if you're sitting low in the water, this is quicker. It's also quicker if you're sitting high in the water. So yeah, that is definitely the way we want to go. That looks good. All right. Then, so Seville, then we want to go through all the Spanish ports. Belize, Taylor, Puerto Cabezas. Now, I could, I could have gone Port Royal straight to Puerto Cabezas. But, like, and I, and we are sailing against, you know what, I'm actually going to change it. I'm going to change it. I'm going to make it slightly simpler because I want to take as much advantage of the speed as possible. So we'll go Santiago, Port Royal. We'll go straight to Puerto Cabezas. And then we'll go down Bluefields, all the way down here, taking advantage of the wind all the way along. Uh, and I want to go down to Maracaibo. If we're in Maracaibo, might as well go to Gibraltar. Yeah, might as well go to Gibraltar. And then we'll... Uh, will I stop in at Maracaibo on the way back? Eh. No, I think we'll just we'll just head straight on back. Now, this does mean that we go through this area, which has got storms. Um, we don't want to do that. We want to avoid storms if we can, because what happens is the ship gets damaged. It doesn't get necessarily damaged that much, but it means that when it arrives, it's got to repair, and it's sitting in port repairing um, that that costs the money because obviously if you if you're sitting in port you're not moving you're not trading so I think what we'll do is we'll go back to Port Royal and then go to Santiago but I'm going to change the route just slightly now we're at 18.9 days I'm going to change it out it doesn't make it the journey that much longer um, let's see if we can can't get a bit more of a curve on this. Come on, can I move you? There we go. 19.3 days. So it's gone up a little bit, but I think it's worth doing it to avoid the storms. Okay, so this is going to be a really nice, fast route around there. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, we've got to set up all of these. So what do we want? Uh, Port Royal, we want to be bringing in the commodities that give us fame. So we want uh, to prioritise tobacco, coffee and cocoa. So that's that done. The rest of them can be standard. Well, Santiago, actually. Do I want to do anything with Santiago? Eh, not really. So we'll set all of these up. Again, it is, this is another quite long route but what I want to do is put multiple ships on here and I think this is going to end up being now and then we're back to Port Royal and we'll do the same again with Port Royal I've prioritized because we're picking up we're going to um, we're going to Santiago then back to Port Royal which means we can pick up um, tobacco which is a good thing so what do you want to do uh, we want to prioritize tobacco and coffee and cocoa all right and that's it that is done right confirm that now what we need to do is put some ships on there so what i'm going to do uh, the sunbeam i'm going to say sunbeam you are now going to be assigned to what are we going to call this well let's call this the spanish um We'll call this the Spanish Circle. That's this trading route name. There we go. So assign that route to the Sunbeam and the Sunbeam can get on with that. That is awesome source. Okay, what else do we want to do? Well, we've got 240,000 to spend. So I'm going to go down to Maracaibo, uh, go into their shipyard, which is a large shipyard, and see what ships they've got. Schooner, Sloop, Bark. They've got two Barks. So, let's buy a bark. Go to the lighthouse. Hyperion. I tell you what, I just like that name, so I'm going to go with it. So, Hyperion, we're going to assign you to the Spanish Circle. Away you go. And we're going to go up to Port Royal. 
where's Port Royal? We're going to go up to Port Royal. And now, going into the shipyard and see if we can't buy schooner sloop. At least we can buy a sloop. Now, we can buy a corvette. 12 knots, and it has cannon. But for now, I'm focused on trading where there aren't wars and conflicts, and I'm not interested in plundering. So I'm just going to buy this sloop. Purchase it. Go into here. <laughs> the blueberry. Yeah, I, I can go with the blueberry. That's fine. And the blueberry is going to be put... Now, that's going to go on the domestic route, I think. Yes, another one on the domestic route. Okay, good. Then I'm going to go back down here. Now, the reason that I didn't buy... Uh, I'm going to buy another ship. Uh, the reason I didn't buy them both at the same time is because I want to space them out a little bit. So, down to the shipyard in Maracaibo and buy what we've got. We've got sloop, bark, another bark, yes. Purchase. We'll go into the lighthouse. The Aeolus. Yes, go on, we'll take that convoy now. And the Aeolus is going to be put onto the Spanish Circle. Create new route. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to assign route. Bonehead. Um... Trade route three. Get rid of that. Sorry. Uh, Spanish circle. Assign route. There we go. Go, go, go. And off it goes. We've still got enough cash that we could uh, certainly afford uh, a sloop. Let's see uh, what there is in Port Royal again. Schooner, Corvette. That's all they've got. In that case, I'm going to go back down to Maracaibo. We've had a little gap, so let's buy another ship down here. What do we want? Schooner, sloop, brig. Uh, I mean, we could take a brig, I suppose. Yeah, I, w I much prefer the bark. The extra speed does result in better profits, but I'll go with it. I'll go with it and go to the lighthouse. Morris, no, we're not calling it Morris. We'll call it Thunder. We've got the Thunder and the Lightning. Hooray! That was much rejoicing. Okay, we will put that onto... Um, if I actually select it, there we go. Uh, we'll put that onto the Spanish Circle again. Uh, assign. All right, cool. So, we've, uh, we've spent our money, but we had enough money. Or hopefully we'll have enough money, because... The only problem is they will go to the beginning of the route. So that's going to sail up to uh, to Santiago before it actually starts. But we should have enough money. Yeah, we've got plenty of money to uh, to actually purchase goods. Now, we've got a captain available. Cheers, Sky Storm. I would be willing to sign up as a captain. Let's see. He's level two. Maximum level nine, which is not... It's not horrific, but it's not fantastic either. Um, now, this guy... He's got Gunman, which increases uh, probability of critical hits. He's got Gunner, uh, which in uh, naval battles increases damage. He's got Maneuverability, which is very good. Uh, let me pause the game for a second. Uh, and he's got Pirate Scare, which is also good. It's a real shame that he hasn't got a higher maximum level, because this is somebody who could potentially be really good. The, the problem is he's only got seven points that we can put into these things. Um... Like a like one point of manoeuvrability and then maybe three into gunner and gunman. Like maybe. Oh uh, am I gonna hire him? I, I must admit, I really like these skills, but the um, the maximum level being low and he's only a level two. And at the moment, because we're not doing a lot of fighting, these skills aren't going to help us. I'm going to reject him. I hope that doesn't come back and bite me. Okay, the uh, Viceroy is saying, come visit. Something for you. In exchange for 59,000, I have a letter of mark for you. That way, you are legally able to attack and plunder convoys and towns of our enemy, England. Uh, the only problem, we don't have any fighting ships yet. That is to come. So... The cash is rolling in now. The fame points are rolling in now. Let's have a look. How are we doing on the fame side? Look at this. 
Last month we did 500 tobacco. Woo hoo hoo! And the more ships we get, the more cash comes in. We'll take a quick look at the at the company. I tell you what, at the beginning of the next episode, we'll look more uh, more in more detail at this. But our balance now, you have to read this right. So this says we made negative forty five thousand. The thing is, we spent three hundred and sixty three thousand on new ships. So we that means we actually made a profit in in quarter two of sixteen oh four of over three hundred thousand. Um, and then we're in quarter one right now. Oh no, no, that was quarter one. We're in. Oh no, this no, this is quarter two. In quarter one, what did we do? We we purchased seventy six thousand in vessels. So, yeah, yeah, it was. We just made a hell of a lot more profit. I think a big chunk of that will have come from adding new ships but also from the manual sailing that we're around that we've done in this episode. So there you go. I think we'll leave it there for this episode. Um, it's going pretty darn well. The cash is going to roll in. I need to start adding new ships and I need to start thinking about building up the port of Santiago, our hometown. If you want to see how that's done, well, you'll have to come back for the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. Please keep leaving me comments, maybe even hit the like button if you're enjoying it, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.